Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Sunday, November the 20th. It's the last Sunday of the church year uh, where we celebrate the reign of Christ, or Christ the King. And thanks for joining me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Alleluia. Psalm 93, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. You establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. You are on high. You are mightier than the noise of many waters. Yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are sure, and holiness becomes your dwelling forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Alleluia. Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 11. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, so that you may have all endurance and patience joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers. All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I have commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. And for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia. You are worthy, O Christ, to receive glory and honor and power. Alleluia. Psalm, or a canticle from the Revelation to John. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. You are worthy, O Christ, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. And for your pleasure they are and were created. You are worthy to take the book and open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you redeemed for God saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. 
you have made us to be rulers and priests to serve our God, and we will reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are worthy, O Christ, to receive glory and honor and power. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And may Almighty God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> 